part three of Mold Making 101. Our first two lessons talked a little bit about the different types of plastics and classes of molds, but I know uh, this is where you want to get to eventually, and we've got so much to go over, but uh, there is a section view of a plastic injection mold in this book, but it's kind of small, and I thought it'd be better to start off with a full-size drawing that I have that is from uh, an actual part that I built, and this is for this birdhouse, and this is for these walls, and we'll talk a little bit how that was formed, but that was all one panel stretched out, and they folded them into four walls. So it was all molded at once, and uh, this mold actually produces the bottom panels and the top panels, and what we're first looking at here, just for instructional purposes only, is a section view cut through the, the uh, longest part of this injection mold. Now, uh, what's important to note here, as a tool maker or mold maker, this is just kind of an overview drawing to give me some ideas of the components that are in this mold. So don't freak out. I'll go over them much more detail as time moves by. I've got so many videos to do. But let's get started with just a simple section view so I can show you a few things that uh, are included in an injection mold. So we talked about, let's just start off with, you know, our part. And now we've got a design. And, and the, 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 the guy who designed the part got together with a tool shop. They sat down, they figured it all out, and they designed a mold. And this is the first, uh, one of the first drawings you'll see as a tool maker. Again, it's an overview drawing. You'll notice there's not a lot of dimensions. There's a lot of balloons, and you probably can't see it, but over here on the right, it's just telling me what the components are. And, you know, this is kind of a boilerplate mold. It makes sense to me, but it's giving me an overall idea of the width and height of this injection mold. That's what I think is a tool maker. But for the new people watching this, um, basically what I've got here is a, my overall stack height dimension, which, which should be fairly close when I'm done. It doesn't have to be perfect. Injection molds open... They have a lot of leeway here, but kind of an overall stack height. So, what are we looking at here? Well, this side right here is called the front half of the mold, always. And it's always called the A plate, or the A side of the mold. A, or front half. And this is the side of the mold that the plastic is injected to from the press. We'll get into it, but this is a sprue bushing on the top, or a locating ring, that locates the whole mold on the press. And then there is a sprue bushing, which, because of the way the section cut was done, it doesn't really show up. But this is where the plastic will come through the press down into these round runners. And these are runners. And you can see, we, what we'll eventually see is uh, the plastic comes down, it goes into a set of runners, and then it is fed into the cavities, in this case the B half, with tunnel gates. And we'll talk about tunnel gates, but this area in green is plastic. And then it's going to fill up with what I showed in yellow, that's the part. So the three components, the main components of an injection mold, you have to get the plastic in, the injection and gating process. Two, you have to cool it so the plastic sets. It doesn't sit there molten. So you get a hardened part. And the better you cool it, the faster the uh, mold runs and the faster uh, uh, the cycle time is, the more money everybody makes. So you, we've talked about we're going to inject the plastic, we're going to cool the mold to set it, then we have to eject the part. So these orange pins are just some of the ejector pins in this mold. Those are called ejector pins. So let's talk about this a little bit. So we've got an A plate with some sub inserts in here for our cavity and our core. Usually the A side has the cavity in it, the B side has the core because everything's going to want to freeze around the core so that's when we eject it out. So there are different ways, back gating and things like that, we may get into. But let's talk about the function of this actual mold. A plate, B plate. Now, what I haven't talked about, this is called the rear clamp plate. These two plates here are called the ejector plate and the ejector retainer plate. So these two plates here sit on rest buttons. And what's going to happen here when the mold closes, this pin, these are called return pins, they're at the parting line of the mold. That's the parting line of the mold. And again, parting line is the, the bottom of the part, okay? The bottom of the part. This is a flat parting line, as you can see. 
So when the mold is shut, this half is going to hit these pins, and you can't see them on this side because of the way the, eject the section is cut. There's four return pins, and they're usually, usually almost always three-quarter diameter. It's going to push these plates back. These plates are back now against these rest buttons. Now, the plastic is going to come in, be injected into the mold. It's going to set for a predetermined amount of time. The molder will figure that out. Again, you know, the more you cool the mold, the faster it'll run. And what's going to happen then the mold will open. This A and B plate will split. Then the press through a series of knockout holes. I don't know if we show them in this section or not. What's 40? It's a dowel pin. Okay, it's just holding the plates together. There is a set of rods that come out and push these plates forward. That'll push the part off. Rinse and repeat. The mold will shut. These pins, the front half will push this pin down, the four pins, the return pins, push these ejector plates back to this home position. The plastic will come in, fill the mold. So injection fills the part. Cooling, you can't see the side view, but these are water lines. And there's a series of water lines that we'll talk about that are going through the part, uh, through, the, through the cavities and cores to cool these two parts, the, the, the cavities and cores down so the part can set. The, the more water you can get into a, a cavity and core, the faster the part will cure, the faster the cycle time. And it's always a trade-off, as you'll see on a plan view, because this is a section view, trying to fit the water lines in between all the ejector pins and things like that. So that'll be a, a good view to look at. It's a good reminder for me. So we've talked about putting the plastic into the mold, injection. Then the next thing is to cool the mold, to set the, the part. Then the final thing is ejection. The mold will open. The press has stakes in the back that push on these two plates. They'll push the part out. The mold will close back up. These four, I keep saying these four pins because there should be one over here, but the section view doesn't show it, will um, push the ejector plates back to their home position. And finally, this view here is simply showing what's called a guided ejection system, which is pretty cool and pretty standard. It's not that expensive to put in. It's just a, a, a bushing between the two plates with a pin that guides the whole eject injection system back and forth so it doesn't get cocked. And, you know, it's a couple, it's four uh, uh, liter pins and uh, uh, four bushings, fairly inexpensive to put in. It does make the mold run a lot uh, more uniform. So that's your first overview. And I guess the last thing I see here, uh, I was going to say those are parting line locks. I don't think so because of the way the sections cut those are. And again, there's so much to teach you. But there's your first view of a section view of an injection mold. And so next view, we're going to maybe look at the plan view where we're seeing this face on and you'll get a little bit better view. And I think we'll start with the back half of the mold because that's where a lot of the ejector pins and things like that are. So we'll, be, we'll go over that on the next video. Mm -hmm.